this area through here is pretty, I might say, barren. Lots of different kind of scenery out here. It's kind of a unique rock formation there. So now we're in an area of just broken up rocks everywhere. This whole mountain is just like cracked up or something. It's crazy. Quite a road. Here's my sleeping situation. I had a great sleep last night. My poncho set up as a hammock in hammock mode. My Osni cloak set up as an underquilt. And an Osni top quilt for covers over me. I didn't even really need the top quilt. It was fine without it. And I'm using the Dyneema daisy chain woven, well, woven daisy chain webbing to hang up my hammock with. Wraps right around the tree, so it's nice tree protection. And each of these loops, I mean, you might say, oh, it looks like it's going to come apart. Each of these loops is tested to 1,500 pounds. It's not coming down. So, man, I love, I really love my sleeping setup here. So nice and comfortable, swaying in the breeze, sleeping like a baby. That's what it's all about. All right, I'm taking my bed down. I slept so comfortable here. I've got a Osni top quilt, or you might call it just Osni blanket. Mostly just means we have climate shield insulation in it. Climate shield apex. All this stuff is very compressible. The Osni gear, the blankets, and all that, like that, they come in a mesh stuff bag like this so they can breathe. So when you've used them at night or whatever, when you store them, the bag is breathable, so they can kind of air out. I usually leave mine in the open like I did today, so it could kind of air out from last night. So there's that. And then on the outside here, I have an Osni cloak, which I put on here as an underquilt. So it uses the same climate shield insulation as the Osni top quilt. And the Osni top quilt has snaps down one side. The Osni cloak has snaps down both sides because it can also be used as a poncho liner. So it'll totally match up and snap into any of our ponchos. <clears throat> and it's, the Osni cloak has about uh, seven different functions or so. It can be kind of a sleeping bag, depending on how big a person you are. Um, be kind of a bivy, it can be a blanket quilt. It can also snap to our beast um, sleeping pad, 
So the sleeping pad can be your insulation on the bottom, and the Bosni cloak can be your insulation on the top. Because when you're sleeping on the when you're sleeping on the beast, you don't really need anything underneath you. But you see this thing right here. Go right over the top of me like this makes a full length coat. That's what we like. Gear that's multi purpose. And again, it goes in this mesh bag here. And you can, let's just say you had two hosty cloaks, you could snap one over the top of the other one. <laughs> Because the snaps in the Osni cloak and the ones that's on the uh, Osni top quilt are double sided snaps. So you can snap them down and you can snap something else on top of them. So you could literally layer one on top of the other, however, however many layers you wanted to put if it came down to that. Okay. My hat. There's my headlamp. You see? When we set up the poncho as a hammock, we cinched the hood closed so that it can become a pocket. I just shake out all the junk that's in there. And I just reach down here, pull my toggle out, and I've got my quick connect cord set here. So I just take the loop that's on each end, put it over the built-in snap inside there, and I just snap it down. I do the same on the other side. So what this does is it makes the uh, poncho store the quick connect cord inside, so, so the cord's all gone, it's all inside of there. So. So it's always in there. You never have to worry about where's your cord to hang up your hammock. So we do the same thing on the other end. This poncho right here is uh, our dark olive ready to ship model. So we don't actually have them made. We have materials and components made. We have them partly made. And uh, so when an order comes in, we can just throw the order. So there we go right there. And when you fold them up, you can fold them like they come from the factory from us. Or you can fold them in half, kind of like I'm doing here. Put that down on the ground, fold it one more time, and roll it up. And that'll be about the same deal. Then we have these Dyneema Daisy Chain. And I love them because this is your tree strap and your adjustment. And all you need is a toggle. And uh, you can use anything for a toggle. You can use an old tent stake. You can use... A lot of times I use sticks. I mean, if you're hanging from a tree, there's always a stick. So, anyway. So, there's that. Then I'll just roll that up, throw this in the truck, and I'm out of here. Bing! Multi-purpose gear from Wilderness Innovation. I use this stuff year-round. All right, let's see how this lasagna is coming. Pull the lid off. I think we could say the fire pit is fully involved. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put cinnamon on them.